Hey YouTubers, Zendry here, back again with another Pinball FX3 video. We're playing on the Nintendo Switch. And the last few videos we've been looking at the four tables that are part of the Core Collection DLC on the Pinball FX3 Originals made by Zen Studios. And this is the fourth. Hey, I've just realized I've got the high score on this table. I must have actually been good at it at one point. Uh, but uh, this table is called Secrets of the Deep, and obviously we have a very maritime underwater exploration theme going on and giant sea monsters and squids and octopus and horrible fish with glowing eyes and teeth like that so anyway let's uh let's get started we're just having kind of a, a play around i'm slowly refamiliarizing myself with the table a little bit and just kind of giving you a chance to just check it out and we're not doing a a strategy guide or anything in depth we're just playing for fun and showing it off and i'm just talking a little bit about the aesthetics and how the table feels and i am i know i mention every once in a while but uh i do not know if they've made some changes to the physics at all on the original tables but i mentioned in i think it was the pasha video that the ball did not seem as floaty anymore, and this is actually one of the ones I used to think the ball felt kind of floaty on, and it does not feel that way right now. So I don't know if that's just because I've been away from the game for a while, or they have made some changes, but it is feeling pretty good, pretty impressed. So I'm looking forward to that. So there's the crane button. Unfortunately, that's not what I meant to do. So I'm trying to remember this little uh, thing you do to to to. Um, get this shot over there where it's flashing red I know I need to get it in there and I think after I do that I have to hit that that uh, launch crane button not launch button crane button or, or I have to do that in the opposite order and I cannot remember <laughs> nope looks like I have to crane button first and then yeah that lights up the red one over there on the left and I only get so long to do it and there's not gonna happen this time, but we'll keep trying to do that while we're uh, while we're playing. But I remember that being uh, part of it. That's a neat little effect. Wow! Oh, and that got it in there. So now I get to use the flippers to figure out where to drop that ball, and I probably should have tried to drop it someplace where it made more sense. Obviously, there's these little targets. You're kind of sending out the probe, and I don't don't 100% remember exactly what the achievement is, but it has something to do with this. Oh, it's hitting the flashing one, I guess. Oh, I let go of it too soon. So yeah, I think you have to use that little crane and you have to run the ball over the one that's flashing. And I think that is the achievement for the table. So this is one of the few tables on uh, Pinball FX3 where I actually do have the achievement. So uh, I remember doing that. But yeah, it's kind of a neat table. I like the theme, the underwater theme a lot. I know there's something that goes on with the little sub over on the right. An event or something. It's kind of nice to know that that little pipe thing over to the right that shoots the ball out, when it bounces it tends to go into the hole on the left hand side with the red flashing light on it. But you'd have to You'd have to hit the crane button and then hit that and then make sure you, you know, and of course it may not even be 100% of the time that the bounce takes it into that hole. So there's a lot to do to try to rely on on the pipe to make that shot for you. So that was nowhere near my best. Actually, that's pretty bad. So we're going to play again. Secrets of the Deep. Like the little artwork on the DMD up there is pretty good. I did mention the animated uh, like little pressure gauge there it was kind of cool for the ball launcher. Oh, oh, and I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even mention him. And he's so annoying, but I didn't even mention the little fish at the bottom who keeps trying to bite the ball as it goes by. That's kind of funny, actually. Oh, got the crane button activated. 
Oh, oh, are we gonna get it in there? So I think if it bounces. Yep, went right in there, so I should get the. Ah, I don't really get a good feel for the controls yet. Yeah, it seems to go in there pretty reliably, so. Oh, did it. Let's see. See if we can get it again. So I think the left button on the. Yep. It didn't go in there though. I thought I had to. I thought I had to run over it. I may have done it. I don't know. Since I've already done the achievement, it's not going to pop again. But I, I kind of feel like that's what I did to get the achievement. So if you're trying that yourselves, I mean, it's something close to that. But yeah, the I think you have to the left button moves it vertically, and like if you hit the left button, it goes up. And the right button, I don't know if it does something on its own, but I know when I release the right button, it drops the ball. So kind of hard to get my head around the right way to navigate the, uh, the little probe, or I think it is a probe, trying to drop it off in the right spot. Oh, I got that yet. Our score's pretty bad. <laughs> I have I have not played this one in a long time, and it is showing. This was really bad compared to the others. You know, I think it was like uh, I don't know if it was Pasha or the other one, but one of them t I played in in this se this this series of four tables, and it was like, oh, I haven't played it in uh, months, and oh, by the way, here's a you know a top five score or something. So. Not this one. Not this one at all. That little extra bonus for, I guess, doing that twice in a row in a combo. Got the little pipe again. And I know there's, I think, I say there, I know, but I, I think there is also some events that happen on the back wall back there where the computer stations are. I seem to remember something involving the sub over on the right. That was kind of cool, but, you know. Now that is one other thing. If you can keep that ball in the back play field for a while, I know you can get some points. And you can also drop it right back through. And... Oh, and you can use the A button. You can use the A button to shoot with the pipe. I forgot about that. It just hit me all of a sudden. That's not what I meant to do. But yeah, there's targets back there. Man, I'd be dangerous if I had memory. Yeah, I know there's like a computer terminal or something back there that you hit. I can't remember if that's only during an event. Ah! Get a little fish. Game over. But anyway, I could probably play this five more times and not do very well on it, so I think I'm going to cut my losses here. But, yeah, that's a pretty bad score. But anyway, appreciate you stopping by. This is Secrets of the Deep. We'll be back very soon with some more Pinball FX3 videos, so take care, everybody. Bye-bye.